The now learning that pictures have been released of the five brave hearts who laid down their lives during the encounter with the terrorists in the Rajouri sector today. Remember, there was an operation that was underway from morning today, and in this entire operation, there was a tragic loss of five Indian Army jawans. Uh, the details of whom are now out. Those are the pictures that we are showing you of the five brave hearts who lost their lives during this encounter. At the same time, we are also learning that an operation is uh, currently underway to flush out terrorists in the twin districts of uh, Poonch and Rajori. Let's also listen in to what the family members of these martyred soldiers have to say. वो स्टार्टिंग से बहुत चाहते थे कि जब भी आर्मी वालों को देखते थे उनके मन दिल में मतलब एक ऐसा गुरु था वो कहते थे कि स्टार्टिंग में हमने आर्मी में ही जाना है और उनकी फिजिकल फिटनेस इतनी अच्छी थी हौसले इतने बुलंद थे लेकिन आज सुबह जैसे पता चला कि हमारा भाई नहीं रहा तो आंखें नमन नहीं रह गई बस अब मैं यही कह सकता हूँ कि हमारा भाई नहीं मिलेगा देश को बहुत कुछ मिलेगा लेकिन हमें अपना भाई नहीं मिलेगा आए दिन ऐसी वारदातें ऐसी शहादतें हमें देखने को मिलती हैं भारतीय सेना जो है आए दिन हमारे नौजवानों की शहादतें जो है वो होती आई हैं ये कायराना हरकत जो है पाकिस्तान आए दिन करता रहता है और सालों से हम ये देखते आ रहे हैं All right, Tejinder is joining me on the phone line with more details. Tejinder, absolutely heart wrenching to see the faces these, of these young martyrs and their grieving families. What are you learning in terms of the mortal remains? When will they be handed over to the families? Indeed, uh, this is a tragic situation, especially for those family members. So not only rather for those family members, but for the entire nation right. of uh, of uh, 1.30 billion population, because. Today, the entire nation uh, stands uh, in solidarity with uh, the family members of these five brave hearts. Uh, last night, Ruchin Singh Rawat is a resident of Uttarakhand. Paratrooper Siddhant Chetri is a resident of Darjeeling. Naik Arvind Kumar is a resident of Kangra in Himachal Pradesh. Havaldar Neelam Singh uh, is a resident of Akhnoor in Jammu district. And Paratrooper Pramod Negi is a resident of... Uh, more in Himachal Pradesh. So these are not just names and numbers. Uh, these are family members. Uh, they have their family, but today uh, they, they laid down their life for the nation and the entire nation is indebted for their supreme sacrifice. But uh, as we speak, the operation to flush right. out the uh, terrorists, the operation has been named as Three Netra uh, in the uh, forest belt of uh, Punch Rajori area. The operation is still on uh, we are told that uh, the, uh, the the terrorists would be neutralized. Uh, the uh, additional forces have been deployed in the area. As far as you asked about the mortar remains being handed over to the family, we are told that tomorrow the army would be holding a replaying ceremony for these uh, uh, brave hearts who laid down their life for the nation. Mm. And after that, uh, their mortar remains would be sent to their respective areas. Uh, to conduct their last rites as per the uh, military protocol. But yes, heart-wrenching scenes were witnessed uh, from the residents of uh, these uh, five brave hearts when the news about uh, them being martyred in uh, the uh, Rajori encounter reached their houses. The army first informed their uh, loved ones about uh, this tragedy. But uh, now uh, the right. full focus of the entire uh, security apparatus in Jammu and Kashmir is to ensure that the hiding terrorists, they are flush out and they are neutralized. Absolutely. Yes. That's a very valid point that you've made on that note. Let me also bring in Ishan Wani who's joining me live on this newscast. Ishan, as you heard Tejinder saying that now the focus of the security apparatus of Jammu and Kashmir remains on flushing out these terrorists. Could you share the details of the operation that's currently underway? 
Uh, well, as we speak, uh, there are soldiers who are still searching uh, for those who attacked uh, them once again today morning. Uh, we are told that uh, there was a trap uh, which was laid and security forces, while this was an intelligence-based input about the presence of these militants hiding in the vicinity, because ever since uh, uh, the uh, army bus came under attack uh, by these militants in the area, uh, security forces have been on their toes and trying to chase them down. Uh, and uh, as we speak, as I said earlier, the operation is still on the security security forces are trying to ensure uh, maximum caution and while at the same time they're trying to ensure that they are swiftly able to move through these areas. Uh, we have been speaking to a couple of security personnel who have been deployed previously in these areas. Uh, they have told us that it's not a very easy terrain. It's very hard to uh, operate on and it's very hard to uh, navigate through and that is why the operation is becoming difficult because we have seen from a very long time this group has been instrumental in carrying out attacks in Pooch and Rajori belt and right. that is why uh, you know security forces would want to ensure that they are able Able to uh, get them as soon as possible. Uh, but yes, in the previous times, they have been able to give slip to the forces, be it Dangri uh, or Punch incident in 2021. Uh, but uh, this time around, uh, the security forces are ensuring that they're able to uh, make a cordon, tight cordon with the help of CRPF and also uh, Jammu and Kashmir police in the area are carrying out the joint operation. Right. Uh, remember, uh, you know, these soldiers uh, reached that particular area where uh, these militants were hiding. Uh, they are from an elite uh, para uh, of uh, the Indian Army mm. and they are special commandos who are highly trained for certain situations. Uh, what, what really transpired during that moment, that is what uh, the uh, you know further investigations will say. Uh, but for now, the operations are still on and security forces are ensuring that uh, they are able to navigate through that area very swiftly while being very cautious about any booby traps which could be laid in the vicinity. Absolutely. I'm sure we can expect an escalation as far as the Indian Army's operation is concerned. Many thanks to you, Tijinder and Ishan for joining in on the newscast with the latest.